Hey everybody, as you can read by the title, it is my birthday today. Yeah, I feel old. 20 years old. Um, yeah, what can I say? If I go to America, I can't buy no drinks yet, but here, it's a different thing. But anyways, I wanted to quickly show you what I got this morning for my birthday. So my grandmother, I hate when she does this. I, I don't like when she gives me money. She gave me 25 euro. Um, I just don't like it. And if you're wondering why I don't like it, but she ain't got much, man. Like I said, uh, she's just too humble. Like I said, in the videos as well, she's amazing. Outside of videos, she's even better, to be honest. She's a lovely woman, by the way. Anyways, we got some of these cards. I don't know if you guys have these where you live. I literally have never seen such an interesting card. Let me know if I should do an ASMR what I got for my birthday video. We might as well. It is super duper warm. I'm staying here for a couple of days till... Sunday? My cousin Dylan is coming over Saturday. We were actually meant to go and eat out tonight, but well, my sister is sick. She's got diarrhea, etc. Has been sick since Friday, basically. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, my grandmother, she always writes like this. Love and uh, means a lot to me. And we've also got my mom and dad. They got me this card. I really don't know where they got this from. Really, really cool. And then we got the most crazy things. Now I am defo gonna rock this. I thought my cousin had bought this for me. Some Star Wars underpants. Oh man, these are f these are mad fire. I only wear boxer shorts. I don't like the regular underwear, you know, because the part where the balls always slip out, you know. As a kid, I used to have them. Terrible. These are fire, man. I these are these are really dope. Some of y'all going crazy on my Snapchat saying, "Yo, how much is your underwear if I can buy it?" I'm like, should I answer those questions? I feel like I could make good money selling my underwear and stuff. I might do it. No, I'm just kidding. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, it's my birthday today. What am I going to do today? I have a cake, which I want to show you guys later. Everyone's going to come over. My dad's going to work today, unfortunately. And um, I'm going to show you later cakes, etc. And make this a cool vlog, basically. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so it actually was storming last night. It is a new morning. It is 9.53. We're about to pick up a postal package at like a horse shop up ahead. Uh, actually, one of my friends live there. Got a very, very nice house, really nice. There's actually a house next to him for sale for 945,000 euro, about a million dollars or something. The house is nice, but it's no way worth that money. It's been on the market for about a year, year and a half, and um, it still wasn't sold. I think they've actually reduced it from 945 to 900 maybe. It's still overpriced as hell. But uh, my birthday was cool yesterday. As you can hear, I'm obviously sick. You wanna go jumbo? Okay, we go jumbo first. Look! Oh. Say hello! <laughs> hello! <laughs> oh, nice shoes you got there, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Wanna go jumbo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, give me a five. Oh, no, you wanna give me a five? Oh, off camera, she don't do that. You, you love me? No, she says she loves me. She don't love me before. Now I'm strip. But yeah, I'm 20. I'm sick right now. <laughs> Such a devilish laugh. That's my t-shirt. Look what she's doing. She got my goddamn t-shirt, but we're gonna go to the jumbo. Went to the shop, right, but during the wait on the cycle, right? Bear in mind, we Dutch people love cycling. It is one of the biggest things and why we cycle so much. Just like NYC, you got a lot of metro stations, you got a lot of trains, buses, and you know, honestly, having a car or a scooter is a form of luxury. It really is. A lot of people can't afford it. Why they don't bother to afford it? I could have had a scooter a long time ago, but I felt like well, I was just 15, I didn't have no money. And well, never had interest in a scooter. I just don't see the point in having something like that when I can drive an electric cycle that goes the same speed or even faster and it's way more cheaper. I don't have to pay road tax, nothing. But it was a pain in the ass getting there. Man, my grandmother's bicycle. Well, it's not broken, but you know, we call it a sparkle in the Netherlands. It's a rotating thing, just like a bike. Some bikes have like that as well with the motor engine in it. Yeah, my whole hands were dirty, I had to clean them. My little sister's outside. I am actually sick, as I said in this intro. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. You know, we're not going to do much this week, honestly. Maybe like three or four videos, but when my parents leave on the 10th of June to go to Italy, I have to make some extra ASMR videos. You know, mukbang videos are fine, sure, no problem. I just make them here for the week and a half. I'm going to chill now what I do mostly when I'm at my parents, because, you know, when I'm at my parents, it's not really work anymore. I like to... Let me just put it aside and just spend time with the family. My birthday was very nice yesterday. I had a cake. Well, here you go. I'm getting forced to mow the lawn against my will because my grandmother wants me to help her. 
well, she just wants me to do her job, which isn't that bad of an issue. You're forcing me to do this, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look yeah. at her swag. Yeah, Here what it is, I got the jib on. <laughs> right, I need that strimmer there. How am I supposed to reach that? It's too high for me. Oh, you mean this red thing? Oh, I get it. You're scared of spiders, isn't that it? She's scared of spiders. We've also got a little flower garden here with potato. Well, do we have potatoes? No, we got strawberries in here, right? We got some plants over here. Tomato plants. Tomato plants in here. Tomato. And we got some. Come on, garden, grab some. Great. I have to get the gloves on. I cannot be asked for this crap. This Come is on. your fault. You ruined my whole week. You know, instead of just mowing the lawn, she does this extra for Gansy stuff. I was like, why don't you just mow the lawn? Oh, that's just not how dad does it. I'm like, oh, man, this is going to take a few hours. I can guarantee you guys this. Great birthday week. Yeah. Oh, an interesting fact. Somebody broke this lamp a couple years ago. Because this gate actually wasn't there a few years ago. And I don't know, somebody had come once or twice here broken our lamp, basically. Because um, I think the shed, well, no, the shed was here, but the fence wasn't here yet properly. He broke our lamp, so he actually went onto our property and broke our lamp. I don't know who it was. So the garden is practically finished. We did the garden, didn't we? Is it done or do we still have to do it? We sort of still have to a little bit. No, I'm talking to you. Well, I'm talking to the camera as well, but she don't know when we're gonna end it. But um, I found a sock. I've got weed. Did I just hear weed? Yeah. <laughs> the grass and yeah. Things. Okay, that's not something we're gonna record because it's gonna take way too long. But uh, super warm, super sweaty. It's pretty good though, I would tell you that's a good exercise, I mean really, it's technically, really, it's a yeah, very good exercise. it's a good exercise, I haven't really yeah. exercised in about a week and a half, and two it weeks. And my grandson busy. And alive, and my grandmother alive as well. Except there's one difference, I do it. I get forced to do this, I didn't want to do this. So in the meanwhile, I decided to make some OJ juice, and I actually didn't show you guys the cake that my parents had gotten uh, for my birthday two days ago. <laughs> that's really cool. Um, yeah, you might recognize it, my ASMR channel. We have some lunch basically. Um, yeah, it's not that great lunch. It's, you know what I said before, I don't really tend to eat that much really anymore nowadays. I will tell you that this looks like shit on a plate. I totally agree with you, but it tastes good. Um, it's vegetarian satay. Some people have even said it tastes better than the original. I think it tastes better probably because the sauce is more uh, thicker, it's a little bit thicker. Um, the meat ones are always very thin from personal experience I'm speaking as well but um, grandmother's cleaning the house I'm sort of also semi helping her with that what I'm trying to say is with that um, she does her thing and when she needs me she says listen Keegs I need you right now I said, okay so now I'm just gonna well chill like I've been doing for the past couple of days I shall be back on a Sunday because my parents are actually leaving on the 10th of June and they're going to go to Spain at uh, Spain I mean, they're going to go to Italy so fucking jealous, man. Well, we discussed it already months ago that I said, listen, yeah, I have to stay because of the dogs and, yeah, my videos. You know, I get very stressed if I don't make videos. So, yeah, I think uh, Monday we'll make a couple videos for um, the week because I have until basically practically Sunday afternoon till Thursday night. And then we're going to have to record all the videos here, which, you know, it's fine. It's what it is. Can't complain about it. I would have preferred, you know, to stay in my place, but it just simply isn't big enough. So here's the thing, if you follow like rap music, New York, right, we all know 50 Cent was like the big man. But before that we had um, Biggie Smalls, I don't know if Tupac was also from NYC, I'm so sorry if I'm fucking it up for you guys, but you know, after 50 Cent, ain't nobody really controlled the city music wise. Pop Smoke came, although before Pop Smoke, was six nine. I mean, let's be honest, bro. We all fucked heavy with six nine back in the days. I don't really mess with his music no more. It just don't hit the same. Yeah, okay, it has to do something with that snitching. But hey, between you and me, I would snitch as well. I'm just being dead as honest. But um, yeah, then six nine, pot smoke, 
And now, like, the whole Bronx scene, you know, a little TJ from the Bronx, obviously, you gotta know that. Jay Critch from Brooklyn. And now D Thing is caught a charge. I'm watching this thing of Hip Hop Daily. D Thing, GZ, and 33 others indicted on 65 charges, including attempted murder. Bro, these people are fucking crazy. They have the talent, you know. This is unfortunately the sad fact. They have the talent, but it's their environment that they're surrounded within and by, you know. That, at the end of the day, determines your outcome. Because living in these streets, bro, it's either death or life. Life meaning you go to prison and death means you buried six feet in the ground. That's how it works. And I ain't even a street person. Never claimed to be one uh, and i'm very glad that i'm not because that is just no way of living unfortunately in you know all these video clips are very very cool to see most of us can probably agree you know the cool videos the vibe is there but behind the scenes bro it's fucking tears sh and you know and, and etc it's sadness to be honest because essentially what you've got you've got mothers crying because the son gets murdered you know it ain't fair to just blame the parents saying oh they should have raised they should have been raised better you can raise kids so good but it's eventually their choice what they make outside of the home for example, me, I'm a good raised kid. I'm a very privileged kid. I'll be very honest. I'm not going to lie. But what I do outside, my parents don't know what I do outside. Shit, if it was up to me, I'd be robbing people, for example. But that has nothing to do with how they taught and raised me. That is my own choice at that point. If I decide, you know what, fuck it. Today I'm hitting up the bank. I'm robbing them. That's my, that's my, you know what I mean? It's a choice. You make a choice. And um, yeah, I'm glad I'm not in that situation. I wouldn't want to be neither, man. But they're hit on charges not rico charges they'd be glad they ain't got rico charges that's like the worst because i know hot boy florida rap you know i've been following him for quite a while a year or something i like his music actually he got hit with rico charges now apparently he's still not done that he had to pay a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar bond last year but he's been going crazy in uh, florida but now that, then like the bronx drill has been going crazy these past year really really a year because tj ain't a drill rapper so like Lil TJ is, is definitely the biggest out of the Bronx, I would have to say. I think I book you with a hooky also, but my man don't drop no fucking music. I know they got beef, they don't like each other. I don't care, I like both of their music, but if I had to choose personally, yeah, I, I mess more with TJ because I know his songs more and better. But a boogie with hoodie defo vibe, I don't really give a fuck about beef, you know. Um, like when it comes to South Memphis, for example, music wise, yeah, I, I'm sorry bro, but I, I'm not gonna listen to your Gotti. Because I don't fuck with the music. It just ain't my style, first of all. And yeah, I've sort of spotted my ways with Paper Rock Empire. You know, Young Dolph, you know, Key Glock, Kenny Money, Big Moochie Grape, uh, Jay Bizzle. Bro, I know all the guys in this in this team, man. Rest in peace, Young Dolph, by the way. But uh, now I do listen to, listen to Moneybag, yo. Because I really fuck with him, genuinely. I, I like his music. I've been listening to Moneybag, yo, for poo, four years. Yeah, four years. Yeah, 2018. I like a lot. Yeah, that basically. And Young Dolph, I've been listening to, yeah, 2017, I think. Yeah, it's sad, man, but yeah, it's a life that they live, you know. We can't afford to do much about it. We don't really have influence on these people that are making music. We don't. We're just people that like to listen to their music. You know, we're just viewers. We're fans. We're, we're, we're groupies, all basically. I mean, look at it like that, basically. But uh, no, like, when it comes to hip-hop nowadays, there's definitely a lot of new hidden talents k flock for example doogie b uh b love personally out of all three i fucked the most with doogie b it's something about his voice and his aggression on that beat it's it's just a little bit better b love i would rank number three k flock two and doogie b number one as weird as it might sound k flock is the biggest out of them all three but i don't think he's the best his energy is definitely there but um it's just a moment of time before they get signed by a label, but now they both have to fight legal issues. And just like this whole YSL thing, you know, a month later, still nothing happened. The trial is set to be on the 3rd of January 2023 next year. So they're going to be locked up for quite a while, which is also something I've never understood with rappers. you got all this fucking money, and yet you're doing all this extra stuff. And it's like, why? you got millions of dollars. You're a millionaire. You're a successful artist. Why do you do these things? I don't get it. You're throwing away your blessings that you have worked for. It's the same with me. I've worked my ass for where I'm at at this at this stage. Am I just going to throw my life away because I want a little bit extra cash or want to say to people, yeah, don't fuck with me? Nah, man. I ain't about that. I'm not going to do that for this whole bunch. I think we're going to end this video here. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the birthday vlog. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got for my birthday completely in a different video. So see you later, man.